guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts my contemporary thon vlog, so stay tuned. So I have my whole TBR here of what I plan on reading during contemporary thon and for some reason I'm feeling very intimidated by my stack. I think it's because of my Dean Coots book that I have here that's uh, so thick. It's over 700 pages. <laughs> but I'm excited to read all these books. I need to read all these books because of um, my wheel of TBR. But I'm also currently listening to the audiobook of the Mother Daughter Book Club. Wish You Were Air by Heather Vogel Frederick and I think I'm about two-thirds of the way through this. I'm trying to hurry up and finish this today so that I can really focus on some of these others. Plus I'm hoping that I can find some audiobooks for some of these which will kind of help. I have all of my Hoopla checkouts available and my Scrib checks checkouts so Hopefully I'll be able to find some audiobooks to help along. And I'm buddy reading Paper Towns by John Green, which my friend Clint pointed out that for the challenge green on the cover, I could totally have used this because it says green on the cover. So we'll see how I do. Wish me luck. <laughs> So it's Tuesday, February 11th, and I have been productive and not productive at the same time. So I, today I went to the gym, and I've also gotten lots of reading done. But what I was supposed to get done today is edit a video, and I've like barely even started that. So once I finish this, I have to go at least work on editing for a little while so probably no more reading is going to happen tonight. So yesterday I finished the Mother Daughter Book Club Wish You Were Air by Heather Vogel Frederick and as I said this is the sixth book in the Mother Daughter Book Club series which follows a group of girls pretty much from sixth grade through high school and their mothers, well their families really and well, they're, they have a little book club and each year they read a different book or a different series of books and it also, these books kind of reflect their lives at the time and I have really, 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 really grown to love this series. I ended up giving this four stars. It was really good. It was probably the thickest out of all of them. I'm not sure it was, I want to say 400 pages maybe? 442 pages. And in this one we have um, Megan's Sweet 16 birthday. Uh, she also has a French exchange student coming and staying with them. And it ends up being somebody that's related to a person that these girls don't like. And so they automatically don't like this girl. And there's a lot of drama. And all the boys seem to be infatuated with the new French girl. And it's just, it's super cute. And it's just, I love them. And yesterday and today I've been working on my buddy read of Paper Towns by John Green and I'm currently on page 85 of this. We're only reading just a little bit each day kind of to spread it out throughout the week but originally I wasn't thinking that this would fit any of the challenges for contemporary -athon, but technically it can complete the challenge of read a book with green on the cover because John Green. <laughs> so yeah I may count this that for that. I may count this for that. There we go. And then today I started and finished Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. And this follows a girl named Bailey who moves from her mo living with her mother in Washington, D.C. to Katniss. Stop. 
to living with her father in how uh, somewhere in California. I want to say like Malibu area. And she has this online friend. They don't use their real names. Online she is Mink and online he is Alex. Hence Alex approximately. And Alex would really love to meet Mink and they've talked about her possibly flying out to see her dad and maybe they could meet up and go to this film festival and she's like mm, i don't know and she doesn't tell him that she is moving there her thoughts are she's going to hunt him down and find him first and kind of scope him out to see if he is who he really says he is before and in the process she ends up meeting this boy named Porter and it kind of confuses her summer plans and it was really good. I gave this four stars as well. So that's where I'm at as far as my reading at this point. Like I said tonight I'm just going to go and edit for a little while before I have to go to bed and tomorrow I'll probably need to finish editing that video because I'm sure I'm not going to finish it tonight. And then I got a lot of reading to do. A lot, a lot, a lot of reading. I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to start From the Corner of His Eye by Dean Coots because I was able to find an audiobook of this. So yeah, I'm going to <laughs> start listening to this now since it's so huge. And hopefully I can spread that out through the rest of this week because I don't think I could find audiobooks on anything else so what else I have we have Rick Monster and Giant Days so I'm gonna make it my goal to start this and maybe read Giant Days if I can get I need to get like a book a day finished really <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. All right. This has been long enough. I'm going to go for now and I'll talk to you later. So it is now Thursday, February 13th. It's like almost six in the morning. We are, Xander and I are here. <laughs> We're at the bus stop. And uh, when I leave here or after he gets on the bus, I'm going to the gym. And then after that, I'm going back to the house, get a video uploaded, get cleaned up. Then we're gonna go book shopping. That's my plan for today. Um, so yesterday I did start the audiobook of From the Corner of His Eye, I think it's called. And I'm about, I think I'm a little over 100 pages into it. I'm only, I don't know, like 15% in the audiobook, which the audiobooks from like that time are just, oh my gosh, they're terrible quality. But um, I did find the audiobook, so that's good. Um, the way his stories tend to go, they're like, you end up with like multiple stories going on at the same time. And then at some point they all kind of converge together. And right now there are three different stories. So one story is this lovely young married couple. I forget how old they are. Um, maybe in their 20s or something. They've only been married 14 months. And totally gaga in love with each other. Just beautiful, sweet, loving couple. And then the husband pushes the wife off a cliff when they're hiking for like no reason at all <laughs> which was like what and then the second story is we have another married couple they're like 30 and they're um, the wife is pregnant she's going into labor um, the husband keeps trying to like get her to come on and get out of the house so they can go to the hospital and have this baby and she's like trying to take care of all these different things before she goes 
and on the way there they have a car accident and then in the third story and this is there's a trigger warning here for rape the third story is the 16 year old girl who was raped and then ended up pregnant and There's Marty my love. He just passed on his way to work. Anyway, so she's raped. She ends up pregnant. She hides the pregnancy for nine months. She um, becomes anorexic. She's like wearing a girdle, things like that. She only ends up gaining 12 pounds. The day comes, she has to go um, deliver this child and she doesn't make it. The baby makes it, but she doesn't. And yeah, that's all I really know. I have no idea where, like, I know that there are starting to be things that tie these together, but it, it, his stories, they, they, they tend to like make you go, what is going on a lot of the time? Um, but they're so good. They're so they're just so interesting so I started the audiobook of that and I read all of Giant Days volume whatever it is that I'm on right now I can't even remember what year they're in I want to say it's either the second semester of their sophomore year or their junior year maybe their junior year and uh, it starts out with their Christmas breaks and going home for the holidays and stuff and the madness that comes from that. It was fun. I gave it four stars. And then I started reading Rick and I'm only like 10 pages into that so far. So hopefully I can get that finished today. Though I think I may actually set that aside because Paper Towns completes my can complete my challenge for reading something with green on the cover and giant days can complete something that um, has an illustrated cover so I may go ahead and read monster um, because Rick doesn't ha I don't have to complete Rick for any challenges because it was kind of those two challenges so I may put it off for now just in case I can't finish it this week and get to monster because that's like my um, dark contemporary all right I'm gonna go turn this light off so he can close his eyes for a few more minutes while we wait for this bus and then head to the gym
home from my little shopping trip and I thought I'd show you a little mini haul of what I picked up. So the first thing is something I got for Xander. Uh, they have records there so I picked him up this record that I thought would be cool. It's got a bunch of old songs. Maybe he'll like it. I don't know. But it was like three bucks. <laughs> um, and then I'll show you first what I got. Um, they have these empty, or they have these, uh, bins out front that have, like, free books, books that they, they couldn't sell or had too many of or whatever, and so they put it in this bin and you can have them for free. And so, I kind of glanced in that a little bit and picked out a few things. Uh, these first two, I don't know if they're out of date or what, but... I'm all about traveling, so I picked them up. I've got Lonely Planet, The Netherlands, and Fromer's Scandinavia. So, I mean, I don't know how up to date these are because I didn't look to see like when they came out. It looks like this one came out in 2004, and this one came out in 2003. So, some of the things I'm sure are going to be out of date, but. It, there's still lots of information in here of things that I'm sure are still the same. So, I want to check these out. I picked up a book for Xander because I know he has at least one book in this series. It's the Aragon series. Sorry, Katniss is like bumping where my phone's set up. Uh, but this is Inheritance. I think it's book two. Or four. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't have the dust jacket or anything, but it's free. Also in that bin, I got Cook With Me Sugar Free. Favorite snack, sweets, and desserts for children's, uh, children and grown-ups too. Because I'm trying to, you know, eat better and all that. <laughs> I think... She missed me. Did you miss me, huh? <laughs> She's my fluffy girl. She wants hugs all the time. Okay. Down you go. And then the last thing I got out of that bin was the Time Traveler's Wife. It looks like it was a, a library. A jail library book <laughs> okay i didn't even notice that i just noticed it was a library book interesting and then there are the books that i actually bought <laughs> now tigger is rubbing on the thing that i've got my tripod sitting on they missed me they want oh they want my attention until i give it to them <laughs> Okay, so the books that I bought. We have Sorry Not Sorry by Sophie Renald. I thought these were uh, all super cute. And honestly, I, I don't know too much about any of these except they're cute rom-coms. I did a quick look on Goodreads to like see what the Goodreads rating was before I bought them. But really, that's it. All I know is they're cute rom-coms and they have a decent Goodread score. Tigger, stop rubbing on that. Okay, so sorry, not sorry. And then the next one is Mr. and Miss American Pie by Juliet McDaniel. And we have Don't You Forget About Me by Mahari McFarlane. And then Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. This was $7.50, this was $8, this was $7, and this was $4. And, I mean, they're just, they're so cute. And I'm sure I'm going to love them. I know that um, Tessa Bailey is a, an author that Chelsea over at Chelsea Darling Reads really likes. And I'm pretty sure this is one of those books that she enjoyed. So yeah, 
that's my little mini book haul before I left I did go to the gym and I worked out and then I came back and got changed and all that and then I went to upload my video and apparently there's a copyright issue because one of the copyright free songs that I used had a part of the song that matched part of a song that it does have copyright so I had to go and I just changed out my song and re-exported it and had it exporting while I was shopping so now I have to go and re-upload that video so I'm going to do that now and then it'll be time to go pick Xander up from the bus also I'm so sleepy right now I need to wake up all right I'm gonna go so as I said earlier, I haven't continued with Rick yet. I um, might pick that up tomorrow. I don't know. But I was out a lot today and I listened to quite a bit more of my audiobook of From the Corner of His Eye by Dean Coots. And I'm currently on page 316 of this. So not quite halfway, but more than a third. Um, and I've also read my pages for Paper Towns today, and I'm on page 176 of this, so just a little over halfway. And then tonight I've been sitting here reading Monster, and this is a very, very quick read. It's about a 16-year-old boy who is being charged for murder because he was involved in or he's being accused of being involved in an armed rob or in a robbery of a drugstore and the clerk at the drugstore ended up murdered and yeah they're saying he's responsible and there's talk of them wanting the death penalty and he's only 16. Don't know if he did it or not but yeah it's a, it's a really quick read. It's written like okay so we have him like having journal entries like this but the majority of it is written like a script. Uh, he's writing a movie it's a screenplay. Um, the film will be the story of my life. No, not my life, but of this experience. I'll write it down in the notebook they let me keep. I'll call it what the lady who is the prosecutor called me. Monster. And, uh, I can see it all in my head, the way, like, this, the screenplay part is written. Though, it's a little annoying trying to read it like that because it's like uh, dissolve to interior visitors area of detention center there's a table in the shape of a hexagon one side leads to a tunnel through which the prisoners can enter they sit on the side while the visitors sit on the outside we see Steve sitting among the prisoners he is wearing his orange prison garb Mr. Harmon his father sits on the opposite on the outside of the table and there's also things like see you of Mr. Harmon, uh, which is close up, or there's VO for voiceover, things like that. It's a little irritating, like reading it like that. I, I'm not a fan of reading like scripts and plays and things like that. I, I enjoy it more as a story, but I can see it in my head. And I can see this movie, so I wonder if it actually is a movie. Anyway, I'm going to keep reading this for a little while, and then I'm going to go to bed early. I have a session with the trainer in the morning, and then Marty and I have a very gluttonous day planned tomorrow, and I'm so here for it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Happy Valentine's Day! So, it's February 14th, uh, Friday, 
yeah, Friday. And we are about to go get Xander from school. We're gonna check him out a little early. It's like 11.20 now. We're gonna go check him out and go for a sweet treat, uh, little family date, I guess. So yeah, I'll show you the uh, goodies we have. We're gonna go downtown to this place called Cold Stone Creamery, which I'm sure you've heard of it, and have some ice cream, yummy, terrible for you stuff. And, oh, last night I finished reading Monster. I think I would give it 3.5. It was really good. I, like I said I, before, I could actually see this you know, movie in my head. Uh, I probably would have even given it a four if it was more like a novel type thing than just uh, done in like that screenplay format because I, like I said, it was a little annoying. But it did make a super quick read. I think I read the entirety of it in like two and a half to three hours. And I think it's something that Xander not only would enjoy, but I think that it would be good for him to read it and show how much trouble you can get in with uh, being associated with the wrong people. So yeah, I have, haven't really read much of anything today uh, and I don't know if I'm going to get to read much just because we have a lot of activities going on. I pretty much got up, went to the gym, came home, showered, blow dried and straightened my hair and now we're leaving to go get Xander. And yeah, we just, we have a lot going on today. Oh, it's also mine and Marty's anniversary today. Hi, Marty. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Xander's is almost gone. <laughs> okay, after we had our little ice cream adventure, uh, we on our way home, we stopped at Ollie's and I bought some more books. I actually meant to bring my camera in and show it around, but I, I uh, totally forgot. But I did buy, oh gosh, five, ten more books. Yeah, I'm not doing very good at sticking to that goal of buying less books. Because I have started out this year getting a lot of books. I'm going to have to like slow my roll a little bit. <laughs> but I thought I'd come on here and show you another little mini haul and just show you what I got real quick. So I have Anatomy of a Scandal by Sarah Vaughan or Vogan. Giant Days by Non Pratt. Which, when I saw this, I didn't know this book existed. And I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh! Because I love this... Tigger, stop. Tigger is bumping what I have my camera sitting on. Uh, but yeah, I love this graphic novel. And this is an actual novel. And it's the same characters and everything. And I'm just, I was so excited about that. Oh, it's so pretty! I love it. I'm really excited to have this because I had no idea this even existed. And then we have Shatter by April Lynn Pike. This is the sequel to Glitter, which is set in a world where glitter is a drug, which was very interesting. Uh, then I have We Are or We Were Beautiful by Heather Hepler. Girl May of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. The Me I Meant to Be by Sophie Jordan. It's a Wonderful Death uh, by Sarah J. Schmidt, which this is a, it's a Wonderful Life retelling, sort of. I think this is going to be cute. Then we have Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delara. Oh, I can see why it was there. There's like a little slice or weird thing on the cover here. Uh, 
Then we have The Serpent King by Jeff Setner. It's an interesting cover. And then Kissing in America by Margot Robb. And these were all super cheap. Like this was $2.99. This is $1.97. Uh, this, I mean, not $1.97, $1.99. This is $1.99, and $2.99. And I also had a Valentine's coupon which got 15% off of everything. So cool. <laughs> All right, so since we've gotten home, I did my makeup. I was going to change into this pretty dress. It's like black with pink flowers all over it. And I did pink glittery eyeshadow. But it's like in the 20s. It's really cold here. And that's like a short, like a, almost like a tank kind of dress. It goes like behind the neck. Halter dress, I guess. And, um... It only goes to like my knees so my legs and stuff would just be freezing and I don't know that I want to do that sorry if my phone keeps going off and interrupting me I should have muted it <laughs> anyway I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna wear what I've got on which is like this uh green long sleeve shirt it's got like sparkly stuff in it and uh jeans and boots because it's just too cold to wear a dress all right, I'll talk to you later. So I have changed into a ratty t-shirt and uh, oh I forgot to show you we had dessert it was like a creme brulee and a chocolate covered strawberry but kind of ate it before <laughs> I remembered anything about the camera but I'm going to dye my hair so I'm going to get you all positioned prop you up on a tripod and put this on time lapse. did the thing I have blue hair and now I've got to go to bed <laughs> but I just wanted to come on and show it because I always like to blow dry it and straighten it and see how it looks and I love it it's gonna take some getting used to oh it's so bright it's fun okay I'm gonna have fun like figuring out makeup oh yeah here's the state of my hand I scrubbed it in the shower and it came off and then every time I'd rinse my hair more more would come on my hand I had them completely clean like this one and then as I was blow drying my hair and I was doing this I turned my hand blue again I was a little concerned that I was going to turn my eyebrows blue in the shower because my entire face was blue in the shower it was kind of crazy 
All right, I gotta go to bed. I'll talk to you tomorrow. So, I ended up having to make another run to my case today because I was looking for uh, something specific, not actually a book. But while I was there, <laughs> I found another book. I got Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. It was uh, only $10. And I've been wanting to get this, and this was cheaper than uh, Amazon. I actually had tried to get this on Book Outlet, but my order got lost. And then they didn't have another copy to send me, so sad. But, yeah, I got this. I've listened to some more of my audiobook of From the Corner of His Eye. I'm like about halfway through it. So hopefully I can get that finished and I would like to get Rick finished by the end of this weekend. So fingers crossed. I'm about to get a bite to eat and I'll probably listen to the audiobook while I'm eating. But yeah. All right. I'll check in with you later. So it's Sunday night, February 16th. This is the end of contemporary -athon. I am tired. I've been trying to catch up on my reading today and get at what I could finished, but I also went and had like a Starbucks date with my friend and um, we were planning our summer getaway, which we're super excited about. But I did manage to complete both my buddy read of Paper Towns, which completed my challenge of read a book that has green on the cover because John Green and uh, okay I would give this 3.5 I really really enjoyed it all the way up until like the last few chapters which were kind of a letdown like the rest of it was a lot of fun we have Margot she is this or seems to be this girl full of life and adventure and then we have her neighbor who they were best friends growing up but kind of sorry if the camera's shaking but Katniss is rubbing on the tripod anyway um they kind of drifted apart and for one night they get back together they kind of wreak some revenge on a few people and then the next day Margot goes missing and she's left clues for Quentin and he feels like he needs to follow her clues to find her. And for the most part, it was a lot of fun. Their adventures were fun. The figuring out all of the clues was fun. You know, hunting her down, all of that was fun. But the end was just like, womp, 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 you know? And I finished from the corner of his eye. And I think I give this four stars. It took forever to listen to this audiobook. I was listening at, for part of it, I think I was listening at like 1.6 and then I moved it up to 1.7. But at normal speed, it's like a 21 hour audiobook. Because <laughs> it's like 700 and something pages. But I didn't. I don't want to say anything else about this book other than what I have already said because it would get into spoiling things, but I enjoyed it. It did get a little confusing at times because as I said, there are like these different stories and there are more than three different stories. Like in the beginning, it was just the three. And then it just kind of kept adding on. And I think there was like five different stories going on <laughs> and all these different characters. And it kind of got a little confusing um, from time to time and became a little less confusing as things started to merge together. But it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. And I would end up reading this again. So I'll give it a four star. And that means I managed to complete all of the challenges for Contemporary-thon. I completed 
all of these this week. The only one I didn't complete that I wanted to was uh, Rick. And I've, I mean, I started reading it. I just haven't finished it. But that was going to do uh, the challenge of Book with Green on the cover, which I've already got covered. And or um, a book with an illustrated cover, which I covered with Giant Days. So I'm, I've got all of them completed. I just need to finish Rick maybe tomorrow or something. But it's late. I'm tired. I need to end this vlog so I can edit it tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!